Hello, I'm James Filaroski, the Corporate Executive Chef for J. Alexander's Holdings. Today we're going to be making one of my fall favorites, Red River Chili. Our spice profile is very simple. It's based of Santa Cruz chili powder, cumin, and a Cajun spice. We're going to add all these to a bowl and we're going to blend them until they're very well incorporated. We'll blend all these spices together for our next step. The next step in our chili is the beef. We use chuck roll that we grind here in house. You can use ground beef or you can buy a whole chuck and cube it yourself. We're gonna take our beef, we're gonna dump it into a mixing bowl and spread it out. And then we're gonna take our seasoning rub that we made earlier and we're gonna add it to the beef. Then we want to stir that really well till it gets very well incorporated into the meat. Now that we have our seasoned beef, the next step is we want to sear the beef. We're going to add a little bit of canola oil to our hot pan. And this pan's been preheated to medium high heat for about three minutes. We're now going to place our meat, seasoned meat into the skillet. And we can see and hear that beef sizzling. Now we're not going to want to agitate the beef too much. We're going to want to get a good sear on it. We can see that the beef is seared on one side. All we want to do is now is just turn the beef to sear the back side of it. So we're just going to flip it over. And we can see that beautiful brown color that we're striving for in there. Now that our meat is cooked, the next step is I'm going to add our diced white onions. and our fresh chopped garlic. Now we're gonna add the body of the chili. Some fresh tomato paste. And I like to put the tomato paste in first and give it a stir just to get it well distributed into the chili. And once you see all your meat coated, then we can move on to the next step. Our beef broth. A little sweet, we add a little brown sugar. A1 sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and our little secret, a little liquid smoke. Once all these ingredients are incorporated in the saucepan, we're gonna wanna simmer them for about 30 minutes. We're 15 minutes into our chili cooking. As you can see, it's at a nice light simmer. We're getting good evaporation in the chili. We're gonna go another 15 minutes and we'll be able to add our remaining step. As you can see, the chili's cooked for 30 minutes and you have a nice tight consistency in the chili. It's time for the final stage. We're gonna add in our diced tomatoes and we use a ranch style bean. Now that the beans have been added, we're just gonna lightly fold them in. Now that it's all well incorporated, we're just gonna let this simmer, which means very low heat for about five more minutes. While we're on the final stages of our chili simmering, we're gonna work on the garnishes for the chili. Diced white onions, sharp cheddar cheese, and jalapenos. Now that our chili's finished, it's time to plate it. So excited, the most important part, eating it. Mm. Fantastic. For more recipes and techniques, like and subscribe below.